What is up guys and welcome to a new weekly market outlook for the major dollar pairs and gold. So with that said, let's start off with the dollar index. So the dollar index, um, what do we see on a daily time frame? Well, we've seen a bullish change of character, meaning that further potential upside in towards the higher um, area of the range on the daily over here from this high down in towards this low is now possible after grabbing liquidity underneath this low. So overall, from a daily perspective, I'll be keeping my eyes out for higher dollar index prices, especially, of course, with the geopolitical situation in the Middle East. Um, yeah, it is just logical that the dollar index is going to start pushing up higher. I'll be keeping my eyes out for this liquidity eye over here. That is for now my target overall from a daily perspective. Of course, we do have this overextended move in towards the upside. However, this daily change of character has kind of signified for me that a potential for the upside push is now possible. However, for that to happen, we do need the four hour to see um, yeah, play along with us. Because overall, the four hour is still bearish on the daily, uh, or on the four hour is still bearish for the dollar index. Um, logically, I was looking for a push further downwards, uh, at least underneath this liquidity low over here, and it's happening towards this area of demand. But for now, it kind of like seems more um, like a liquidity grab than really like a break of structure. So, what were we seeing? Of course, we saw kind of like slow down inside this area of supply. However, this area of supply is now being broken, meaning that this area of demand. This sell for the buy is now valid and we have this liquidity low located over here. So what I'll be looking for for the dollar index is pretty much um, yeah, a grab of demand over here, a grab of liquidity over here, and then a further push in towards the highs, in towards this fresh area of supply with this liquidity high over here, this high trend to take out that high over there. And then from there, either the sell off, um, because we'll definitely see a reaction or of course the further break of structure in towards the highs because most of the times um, if we look at this from a range perspective this being the high this being the low what you'll see is that um, you either grab the liquidity from here then push further upwards and then see the continuation um, or you just grab liquidity from here and then of course grab liquidity on the other side and then see that further downside continuation so depending on how the market reacts over here uh, either we're going to see that further downside or that further upside but that is pretty much what i'm waiting for from the dollar index but short term uh, yeah just waiting for pretty much a further downside movement on the dollar before moving up higher so that's dollar index now moving in towards aussie dollar and aussie dollar hasn't really done anything that interesting as of yet of course you guys know we had that major sell-off uh, from this area of supply over here pretty much just in line with the overall structure uh, break of structures each time so we had that further sell-off correction sell-off correction sell-off correction again just supply holding and now a further sell-off so for now i'm just waiting for a new lower low to be formed uh, pretty much my overall target is based on the weekly area of demand over here uh, pretty much this weekly area of demand caused the v-shaped reversal and it's where it started uh, this low over here filled to tap in towards that area of demand for me for myself So for now, this is my liquidity low and I'm just waiting for Aussie dollar to push down lower from a weekly perspective So taking that bias uh, into account from a daily perspective daily swing is still bearish and daily internal structure As I just marked out is also still bearish and the order flow is also bearish So we are looking for shorts now where are we looking for shorts from from a four-hour perspective? Well, pretty much um, Yeah, we either gonna just grab liquidity above this high and then sell off or we push in towards here or in towards here. So from there, uh, what I'll be looking for is just 15 minute structure to form, uh, see a break of structure on the 15 and then just sell from supply. So pretty simple, uh, but that's what I'm looking for on Aussie dollar. Now, Euro dollar, um, what is Euro dollar doing? Uh, well, from a daily perspective, again, we have seen a change of character, which is now bearish. So looking for further downside continuation from Euro dollar in towards this daily area of demand. From a weekly perspective, also, uh, you're yeah, just looking for further downside. Uh, pretty much kind of like the wick that I'm targeting for now is this one over here at around 1.04. Um, this is a significant key level, just waiting for that to get hit. Uh, and then after that, pretty much what I'll be looking for is yeah let's say i really expect us to hit the one mark once again on your dollar um so yeah around the 1.0 so first 1.04 then 1.0 um of course how we're going to reach there doesn't really matter of course uh short term i do expect 1.04 to get hit then for example pullback to happen and then for the downside continuation 
But for that, we kind of like need to focus, of course, on the lower time frame because that's going to tell us when we're going to start pulling back. Now, from a daily perspective, we've seen a bearish change of character again. So I will be looking for kind of like a pullback and then a further short. Um, these two buy candles provided us the change of character. So from this wick over here um, in towards, yeah, let's say this wick over here, this upper wick, that is kind of like going to be my sell range on euro dollar from where I'm looking for sells. Going in towards the four hour time frame, what we can then see is pretty much, um, yeah, kind of like a grab of liquidity, the same as on Aussie dollar above this high, and then we can sell off or we'll pull back up higher, excuse me for my voice, um, in towards this two candles, or these two candles, or in towards this, so from the body of this bullish candle all the way up in towards the upper wick. And then again, same as on Aussie dollar, guys, just wait for the 15 minute to form uh, structure wise and then look for those shorts. So three areas of supply on the four hour, which can work out 15 minute time frame. Just focus on 15 minute structure and start looking for those cells. So that is it from uh, euro dollar looking for for the downside and uh, now pound dollar. So pound dollar from a daily perspective, um, again, same as on euro dollar, it's now also seen a change of character over here. So I will be looking uh, for kind of like a push in towards the early week and then a further sell off uh, in towards yeah, lower prices um, ultimately. But if of course we can see another change of character, then pretty much we hit that area of supply, then I'll be looking for shorts from there. Now going in towards the four hour time frame because that's gonna tell us uh, you know, where we're gonna move next. Four hour if, is of course still bullish, but for now, um, yeah, if we do see kind of like a grab in towards here, I'll be looking for longs. But if we start moving up in towards these higher prices, then I'll be very cautious with sales because of that change of character that we've now seen on the daily time frame. So the four hour and daily are not really aligning up. The four hour is bullish, but the daily is still bearish, and daily is also bearish from a change of character perspective, meaning that the yeah, longs in towards the highs are getting riskier and riskier. So if we move in towards here, I'll be happy to look for longs, kind of like a one, two, three descending channel pattern. If we break above these highs, I'm pretty much exactly the same on euro dollar. I'll be looking my eyes out for a potential uh, yeah, short once again. So just keep that in mind. So that's uh, pound dollar, then Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi dollar from a daily perspective is uh, still bearish. Uh, as you guys know, uh, pretty much we're inside this daily imbalance, which I mentioned last week. Uh, that is now what is causing price to stall. This daily imbalance caused price to push above this high and grab liquidity inside or supply inside of this wick. So for now, uh, looking at the four hour time frame, the four hour is still bullish. It is now time for Kiwi Dollar to start making a retracement higher. Um, overall, not the cleanest pair of them all. Uh, it's really, really rangy. Um, overall, I'm not a big fan of this, <laughs> yeah, of this overall range. But for now, uh, expecting Kiwi Dollar to make a further upside pullback. So yeah, just keep it in mind, and then just trade Kiwi Dollar in correspondence with the dollar index, and if that is in supply or demand. But for me, the main focus lies on Euro Dollar, Aussie Dollar, and Pound Dollar for the week ahead. Now, gold. Last of all, um, yeah, what are we waiting for? Well, of course, the pullback is already occurring, and this pullback is occurring from four-hour supply um, over here. So this pretty much last buy before the sell-off. That's what pushing is pushing price down. Uh, so I'm expecting a full downside correction somewhere here. Uh, yeah, we're going to probably see demand uh, kick in again. And then from a daily perspective, what we'll be waiting for is for this high over here to get run at 1953. That's the next high, which I expect to get hit. So yeah, I do expect that to get hit sometime soon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm waiting for. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to join the Discord community. Thanks, guys, and have an amazing day. Speak soon.